I don't know that I've told you the whole story. Maybe over dinner one day I'll tell you the story about me, my father, and books and reading and how it transformed my life. This literacy thing is so important to the future of every Tennessean seeing, having an opportunity to live their best life and make their best contribution. So let's start with just this passion you have about literacy in our state. Uh, you know, Alan, I'm, I think the most important thing you said through all of that was your dad and the story of books and reading and how that was transforming for your life. Because the reality is, is that books and reading and literacy and the ability for a child to be able to read at the right time in their educational process is life changing for them. And the reality is, if they don't learn to read in the in the right amount of time and in the process that where they should, it also is transformational in their life in a very bad way. And the data shows that. The evidence has proven it. We know that anecdotally. You see it in your own life, and you see it in the life of kids around you who may not have had uh, a focus on learning to read. So it is, I am passionate about it. You know, I worked in the, in, in the, in a, in, in an inner city at risk youth program for a long time before I ever even thought about being the governor. And I saw a lot about educational um, attainment and lack of attainment, kids that could read, kids that couldn't read. And it has shaped, a lot of uh, what I think is appropriate education policy going forward. So we do have a very huge focus on literacy. It's a, it's really a kindergarten through third grade strategy. It's K through three success to read because we know that if a kid can read by third grade, then they're highly likely to be successful in uh, the following grades. And if they can't read by then, then they're in trouble. And, uh, so our emphasis is on supports for, for teachers and parents and and children alike uh, through a number of initiatives and a number of strategies and a number of pieces of legislation and funding streams that feed this idea of getting kids to read by third grade. Yeah, I, I love the notion of believing that every child can read and then believing that every child can achieve reading mastery versus reading competency, and I want that for the children of our state. 